now the latest on June 14th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Still just the one major cyclone active at this time, it's Cyclone Value off the west coast of India. It's June 14th, it's the 27th storm of the year so far. The average is 91 per year. No storms active in the Atlantic, it's day 14 of hurricane season. We've already had one named storm, the next is Barry. In the Eastern Pacific, we're on day 31 and we're still waiting for Alvin. Models predict nothing in the next few days and it could be the quietest start since 1964. The Indian Ocean consists of Vayu, of course, off the Gujarat Peninsula and is slowly edging towards the west. No storms active in the Southern Hemisphere at this time, it's all quiet here. So a close-up of Cyclone Vayu right now, winds were giving 115 miles an hour, pressure 946 millibars, there's its current location, 88 miles from Porbandar in Gujarat, 21 north, 68.4 east. We're expecting very slow movement towards a westerly direction in the next few days over the weekend, staying fairly strong and then gradually weakening uh, as we enter the new week. Huge amount of uncertainty on this, but general consensus of the models now takes the storm hooking back towards the coast of India near Pakistan during the middle of next week, although very weak. Here's the latest imagery with the wind shear graphic overlaid, entering more favorable wind shear values, getting on for around 10 knots now. Um, and again, huge amount of uncertainty means that the storm could strengthen more than we expect or weaken much more quickly than we're expecting, which is what one or two models are suggesting at the beginning of next week. Elsewhere in the world though, this is what the Atlantic's looking like, a system moving through Florida by the looks of things here, um, but elsewhere in the uh, Atlantic Ocean there is a extra tropical cyclone way up there towards the north but the tropical region is very quiet Sahara and dust still a dominant feature of the main development region the Gulf of Mexico uh, is starting to flare up again there in the Bay of Campeche but nothing of a tropical cyclone nature the eastern Pacific looks like this you can see just a tiny little swirl heading towards the central pacific region it's like a tropical cyclone without any clothes on nothing at all uh, will of course result from that but an interesting little feature nonetheless it's the only thing we can actually see there in the western pacific it is also pretty quiet apart from that monster frontal system moving through the open ocean um, which could have given way to maybe one or two little spin-off cyclones but hasn't uh, models i haven't actually seen those today but yesterday they were talking about spinning up a few more storms next week. All long range however. The Australian region and the South Pacific looks like this, so a lot of deep tropical activity up there towards the north and the Indian Ocean, uh, as you can see the cyclone uh, is a massive feature there on the western side, although it's actually not particularly large as cyclones go, um, and some significant activity there in the Bay of Bengal as well which are delivering some significant rainfall. Sea surface temperatures across the world right now look like this, around 30 degrees Celsius in the eastern and east Pacific, which is the hotbed at this early time of season. In the Atlantic, the western Caribbean and the Cuba, Florida, Bahamas region, very warm there, around 30 degrees Celsius, the open Atlantic warming up gradually as you'd expect. A slight cold pool now visible in the uh, Arabian Sea uh, in the trail of Cyclone Vayu, but still where the storm is right now, very warm, 30 degrees plus. Uh, Western Pacific, same goes, uh, Philippine Sea, South China Sea are the areas to watch for any significant ramping up early on in this season. A close-up now of cyclone value on the satellite imagery, and you can see there the eye still quite clear on that uh, rainfall estimate imagery. Um, most of the rainfall is staying off the coast, but you can still see some flare-ups associated with the banding, especially towards the north, getting up towards the border with Pakistan now could deliver some flash flooding. So this is uh, June 14th again, and looking at the naming lists in front of us, um, if you've not seen it before, well, there they all are. Barry's the next name in the Atlantic. Alvin and Barbara are the first names in the Eastern Pacific. Arconi next in the Central Pacific. Sepat is next in the Western Pacific. And in the North Indian Ocean, it's Hika. 
you can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 if you're not there already, subscribe if you haven't, we're about to take over 30,000, I'm sure that's going to be a great party somewhere over that, and you can also find the Facebook and Twitter pages, search Force 13, all in text, at Force 13, if you'd like to get in touch on there. And another update coming up, Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for Tropical Weather Chat in our description.